Oh, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to do a quick comparison between a Night Flux uh, Red Zone 4 and the Cat Eye Rapid X2. Now first things first, the main reason why I got each of these lights is that the Night Flux uh, is made in Australia and the Cat Eye, funny enough, is made in Japan as you can see over there and it says it on the box as well so this one is a 200 lumen light on max power and this on max level is 50 lumens um, and the setting that I've got it on is roughly about 50 lumens as well anyway um, with an awesome battery life the next comparison is that the Night Flux is made out of a carbon body with some silicon caps, um, which is a brilliant design. Makes everything nice and watertight and nice and grippy when you connect it up to the frame. And this one is a very robust piece of plastic. Um, the back is nice and rubbery again, so that will grip a um, metal frame, seat post, etc. And the mounting for both is brilliant as well. The Night Flux uses a heavy duty strap, and this uses a simple sort of rubber rings. Um, and because both of my seat posts on my bikes are more of a um, larger size. So what I decided to do is you get two straps in the packaging. Um, I've just wrapped one around the other one and then when you put it around the seat post it fits perfectly. Alternatively if you do break the loop you can just use a simple sort of heavy duty rubber band or something and you should hold it as well. Now there is I think eight settings on this and there's about six settings on this. I've got this one set on my favorite setting which is that and this one is set to uh, I think it's a rapid setting. Okay so let's whack these onto my bike. Hello! Okay, so here's a comparison of the um, light strength during the day. They're both on about uh, 50 lumens, around that much. Now I've changed the settings on the night flux to 150 lumens. And I'm not sure what justice the camera is doing. This is the view from about 10 to 15 meters. So you can definitely see that there's um, flashing going on there. And we've got one chicken there. And we've got another chicken there. Not supposed to be on the bloody veranda. Bloody chicken's gone in for an inspection. Hopefully she's not hypnotized. Oi, what are you doing? Get off the bloody veranda. So I'm on about a 45 degree angle and you can definitely still notice the flashing annoying lights. This is nearly 180 degrees and you can definitely notice it as well. So here's a light comparison. Uh, the cat eye is on top. Night fluxes on bottom. This is from about 20 meters away. And this is about 270 degrees to the side. 
other side and you can see that the lights are visible um, nearly 360 degrees.